one of the most stressful aspects of being in a storm such as Irma is not knowing if your loved ones are safe. Yeah, that's part of the reason an app called Zello became so popular during Hurricane Harvey. It kind of works like a walkie-talkie, but it has some drawbacks. Hey, Steve Sprasia, what's the deal with that? Steve Sprasia, what's the deal with that? Well, it's called Zillow, and it does have some advantages, but also some disadvantages. Let's start with the advantages. It uses a fraction of the bandwidth that is normally used by a cell phone call. So if the system starts getting jammed, it's quite possible that a Zillow call can get through. What are you doing, Steve? The sound quality is great, and it's pretty easy to use. Zello came to prominence when Harvey blasted the Gulf Coast, and rescuers in Houston and other locales were using it to communicate in groups to coordinate their efforts. But here is a big warning. If cell phone service or the Internet goes down, Zello will not work. On its Facebook page and other social media sites, the company warns, Zello requires Internet service using either Wi-Fi or cellular data of at least 2G. Zello also warns it uses a lot of battery power, so if you use it frequently, it's going to drain your phone. And here's something else to worry about, too. These cell phone towers need electricity to work. If we get a blackout, the cell phone tower stops working. Now, some towers do have a battery backup, lasts about two hours. So your Zillow call might work for about two hours in an extended blackout and then stop working. It's not the app or the phone. It's actually the system. Some things to think about when the hurricane comes or when you're trying to make an emergency call using Zillow. That's the deal. I'm Steve Sprasia.